Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a logo and then a product mockup in Adobe Photoshop. So this is the logo I created and I'll walk you through how to create this and then after that we will create the mockup. I got this mockup from this website as freepix.com. Just go and then search for product mockup and then filter it. We need a PSD, that's a Photoshop file. And then for the lines, just go for free and you should sort you out. You can get different mockup that you can use for your design. The process I'm going to use will be basically the same for every other mockup that you're going to use or something similar. So this depends on what kind of mockup you want. If you want something for a, a shirt or a core card, you can get that from this site. There are other amazing sites that you can also get this from. But I prefer you go to free picks, just sort it out, go to category, go for PSD and then the lines is free and then you can download this. I have downloaded this and this is what I'm using. And from this site, you can see the one I'm using is right here. So you can, you can easily modify, change the colors for this. So if I go to my mockup, I can easily change the color I want to use for this, for my design. So you can see I can modify and then use that. So let's see how we can do this in this tutorial. So I'm basically going to close everything and we'll start the entire process. So I'll close this and I have my logo here. Basically, I'll leave the logo for number. Like I said, we're going to redesign something similar to this. And what I did was to download this from that site and it's going to be in PSD. So this is a file. I'll open this in Photoshop. So double click on this and it's going to open as a Photoshop file. So this is the file and we want to use our own logo. So we want to basically design our logo first and we'll look at, and then we'll look at how we can modify this. But remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification. In order not to miss any of my upcoming video tutorials, there's a lot, a lot that I'm working on on this site and you can't actually miss that. Leave the comment at the comment section and let me know if you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. So we're going to first design our logo. We want something similar to this. So let's create our logo. So I'll go to file and go to new. And for the purpose of this tutorial, the width and the height of this logo is going to be five by five inches, the resolution is going to be 150 and then I'll click on create. So this is going to be the logo background, the canvas we're going to work with and we're going to use some custom shape within Photoshop. So go to your tools, click and then go to custom shapes and you can download any of the, you can download any of these custom shapes online. I've already downloaded some and I'll click on this that I want to use this. You can use any of them. So for now I'm using this. Just drag on top of this. We want a perfect cycle. So hold on shift whilst you drag. Okay. I need this and I'm okay, but I want to change the color. So go to the option bar at the top and then pick a color of your choice. Remember, you can pick any color. I'll stick to this and then make sure I reposition this anywhere I want. And we want to just make something simple. We want to make it Agitech Cosmetics. And that is what we want to do. So I'll pick my type 2, horizontal type 2 and then type Cosmetics. Okay, so let me just change the color. Now you can see whilst I type. So I'll type cosmetics and I'll change the font to something else. I'll use a font that I think I like a lot called Halis and increase the font size a bit. And I'm actually going to position this one in the middle like this. So just you can also move your cursor around and just enlarge this. Okay, and then I'll just confirm this. And I want to change the color to white. So select that, go to your option bar at the top and then change the color to white. Pick white color and then click on OK. I just want to apply a bit of shadow to this. So go to your layer panel, double click on that to open the layer style and then click on shadow. You can modify the shadow distance, the spread you want, but I just want to leave it like this. You want to make it Agiotech Cosmetics, so I'll go ahead and type again. And this time around, I'll, I'll type as you take. So let me just change the font again. Okay, with this, I want to use a visible font. So I'll go there and then maybe pick Calibri. For this, I'll reduce the font size, pick it up and then just position it on top of this. I want something like this. I'm going to leave the color. You can take your time and design it to the perfection that you want. I'll go back to my custom shapes and then I pick some custom shape that I want to add to this. So I want something like a plant. So I'll pick this and then drag this down here. Like this. You can hold shift whilst you drag it in order to get a perfect shape. 
and I'll change the color back to white. And then lastly, I want another custom shape at the top. So I'll go back and then just look for another custom shape for the top part. So it all depends on how you want your design to be. So you can just play around with whatever you want. So I'll pick something like this. Just drag this and also change the color back to white. That is all we want for the logo for this. You can take your time and design any amazing logo you want. But before we can use it, I'm basically going to close this, the previous one. And we want to use this logo on this mockup and also change the color of this. Let's zoom in on this a bit and we'll go back here. But we need to make this logo the background transparent. So to do that, we need to come back to our layer panel and then turn the eye icon for the main background. We turn it off and this background is going to be transparent. Okay, so the background is going to be transparent. And we want all the layers to merge together so we can drag all together. So just select or right click on any of them. Merge visibility. Click on merge visibility. And you can see now it will merge all your layers and you can drag this together. So we are done with the part of the logo. And then we go back and then now we can target our mockup to the right up. So if you come to the mockup, we have two folders. We have the effect and the mockup design. So just click to open a mockup design. And we have objects one and object two. The first object is the one on the left and the second is the one on the right. So let's target the one on the left first. So open that to expand it. And when you come here, we have edit. We have the design here and then we have the background color. So target the edit part and then double click on that to open it. It will basically open a new tab. So we can see this open right here. The logo over here, we're going to replace it. So let's turn on the background so we can see where the logo is placed. After we place our logo, we turn off the background color again. So we go and then pick our logo. So this is our logo. We we'll drag this to our design and drop it here. Let's enlarge this to make sure the size is just close to the main size of the default logo. So we can now turn off the eye of the other logo and then also turn off the background color. That is all. And what we'll do next is to go to file and then go to save, not save as. So click on save and I'll go back to our main design and this logo should reflect over here. So you can see it just updated the content. If we want to change the background color, we can just target the background color for the object one. You can click on that and we can pick a different color. So over here, I can pick a color of my choice. Let me pick this color code you Can copy this color code so that we can apply the same thing to the second one. Click OK and then we now collapse this folder and then we target the second object. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this and other IT related videos. Leave the comment in the comment section and let me know if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Open the second object, double click on the edit here to open the second one. We're going to do the same thing by turning on the background to see where to position our logo. We'll go back and drag our logo to the second one. Place it here, we just enlarge it to make sure this will fit to the same size of the logo already placed over there. Let's confirm this by clicking on the check icon. And now we can turn on the, uh, the default logo over there and then the background. And then now we have our logo placed here. The same process, go back and then go ahead and then click on save to update that. Now if we go back to our design, the logo will reflect on both designs. Now we can now change the background color. Remember, we've already copied this background color code. So when double click on this, all we have to do is to paste that code down here. Okay, so paste that here and you can see that same code will reflect on this. So we've been able to modify this, use our own custom logo on this design. No matter what design you picked from the FreePix website, no matter what design and you want to place logo, this is basically going to work. The process is going to be the same or yes, something similar. Okay, so this is just a product mockup. You can search for any kind of mockup that you want. Subscribe for more video like this on my YouTube channel and other IT related videos. So this is how to design a very simple product mockup with a custom mockup from Freepex. Like, subscribe and share this video with friends. Like, come away again. Bye-bye.